Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another learning to play the Lord of the Rings LCG. And this time we are trying the starter deck from the revised core set. Uh, and we are testing the tactics uh, starter deck. And uh, in my previous videos I've already played the lore and the leadership uh, starter deck. So let's see how the tactics uh, starter deck does in the uh, passage through Mirkwood scenario. So let's get started. Uh, in the previous videos I went through the turn sequences uh, in depth in the leadership set uh, or leadership starter deck gameplay video. So if you're not familiar with the uh, turn sequence uh, then maybe watch that video first then come back to this one but uh, I will uh, be saying the phases out loud when we get to those if I remember I've been keeping to forget those a, a bunch of times but it is what it is so uh, we are ready to start so I have shuffled the encounter deck and the player deck I actually haven't updated uh, uh, Doom Dial, so we have 29 Doom uh, from uh, Gimli, Legolas, and uh, who is this guy? Uh, Tallinn, <laughs> still not uh, familiar with all of the cards, so I have to check. And uh, uh, tactics is mainly to tackle the enemies and defend other players. So uh, in true solo gaming, I think. This won't go that well. We don't have a lot of ways to deal with the threat and uh, progress the quest. So we'll see how this functions as a uh, true solo gameplay. But this is why I'm doing this video so that you guys get the idea of how these uh, decks work on their own. Uh, the ideal situation would be to play with multiplayer, but I am uh, mainly a true solo gamer, so I am filming these videos in um, sight of that. So uh, we have shuffled our decks and we are ready to do our opening hand. So let's see. Uh, we are hoping to get some uh, ways to mitigate the threat. So, okay, a couple of allies, but and a couple of dwarven axes. Mm. We are in trouble if we have to deal with those uh, locations a lot. So I'm not actually sure if I should keep this hand at all. Paint and uh, choose an enemy engage. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. No, uh, I think we are trying to get some ways to get uh, some. Uh, allies or cards that help us uh, progress the uh, quest and uh, get rid of those locations by questing. But we'll see how that goes because there are not that many cards in this deck that help us with that. Well, there are Gandalf and Beorn, but those are really expensive allies and Gandalf won't stay for long on in play, so we have to have to keep that in mind. Okay, so let's uh, mulligan and try again. And uh, of course the mulligan in this game is that you will discard, uh, you will shuffle your whole hand into the deck and try again. Okay, well, uh, at least we got those couple of allies that are really offensive uh, based with two attack power, one defense power, and uh, stand together to declare not useful. Warren Axe is useful. A quick Strike is a good one. Swift Strike is okay. Well, we'll have to play with these no matter what. We'll see how we'll, well we do. Uh, in my practice game with this uh, deck, I didn't even uh, complete the first quest uh, card, so we'll see how that goes. So, 
first thing first we will add resources so we are at the resource phase so every guy gets a resource and then we draw a card we get the blade of gondolin so attached to a hero restricts attached hero gets plus one attack when attacking an or after an attached hero attacks and destroys an enemy place one progress to the current quest so at least we have a way to um, get progress onto the uh, agenda uh, or the quest by killing off enemies so we hope we are hoping to get a lot of enemies because also uh, Legolas helps us to add progress tokens when defeating enemies so that is one way to uh, go about it okay uh, I think the first turn so we, we start the planning phase so of course we want to play a blade of gondolin and uh, I think let's see so after attach hero attacks and destroy an enemy okay so after Legolas part was in attack and the, so I think we are comboing this with Legolas so we put it on Legolas so when Legolas uh, attacks and destroys an enemy uh, we get to add three progress tokens so that is one way of going about it uh, do I want to play the Dwarven Axe? Well, next turn we have three resources, so we can play one of the allies. So I'm playing the Dwarven Axe. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe maybe Tallinn will be our quest goer, and these two will just beat up everybody. So we'll play the Dwarven Axe on Gimli. So Dwarven Axe... Uh, Attach hero gains plus one attack, plus two attack instead if, if attach hero is a dwarf. So now Gimli has a four attack, so these both kill off enemies quite easily. And we'll see how that goes. So I think this will be a race because we are not that keen on com committing anybody into uh, these quests. We'll just take the um, Doom and try to just kill off enemies, but we'll see how that goes. So, that is the planning phase done, we'll go to the quest phase, we won't commit anybody to the quest, because I think uh, uh, Tallinn will be our uh, blocker. So we get the staging, and we will get the next card, and it is uh, um, driven by Shadow. When reveal each enemy and each occasion currently in the staging area gets plus one uh, threat until the end of the phase, if there are no cards in the st staging area driven by shadow against search so that is not good for us because that accelerates the threat generation so we are at one two three four five so we add five here because we didn't commit anybody so that is bad we are at 34 already and remember if we hit 50 we lose so we need to be quick uh, that was the questing done uh, travel phase um, we'll just travel here Oh yeah, uh, again, I'm, I'll am i save that for next turn, because uh, next turn we can... Well, let's <laughs> let's back up. So let's commit uh, Tallinn to the quest, so uh, we have uh, even uh, some kind of chance to do something. So uh, we will negate one from this. Then we'll travel here, so Tallinn readies. This enemy engages us, Tallinn will protect. We'll deal shadow cards, so we are at the combat phase, deal shadow cards, and resolve enemy attacks, so uh, this enemy attacks, uh, it has uh, three plus something, if anything happens, so no uh, shadow effect here, so only three damage, and Tallinn has defense of two, so one damage comes through, but then uh, Legolas, uh, in the uh, player attacks, Legolas will actually attack and defeat this guy so we get to add three progress to the quest so not the, the worst first turn but we'll see where this goes so next up we have the refresh phase so we're ready so this guy's ready and uh, we increase threat by one and that is the first turn, so we 
again play as playing through solo we don't pass the first player token around so that is that so that is the first turn let's go to the next turn uh, we start the turn by gaining resources we get three resources total then we get a card and it is uh, played mastery so action choose a character until the end of the phase that character gains plus one attack and plus one defense so a good card when we get the bigger enemies in play. Uh, I think we will uh, we'll at least try to quest this turn because there are no enemies. We can tank one attack from enemies with Gimli. So we'll quest with Gimli and Tallinn and leave Legolas to guard against enemies. So. Uh, we didn't. Uh, we played uh, nothing. Oh yeah. Uh, in before questing, we'll play this one guy in the uh, planning phase. So we'll spend three resources, and uh, then we'll go to the questing phase. So we'll commit uh, Gimli and Tal into the quest. So we'll get an encounter card. And it is the old forest road. Uh, again, so that is actually good. So it has it add, adds one, and we have a tree, so we get two progress tokens here. Well, uh, we didn't get an enemy, so hopefully, next turn we can uh, defeat the old forest road by questing and then go to the next one. And that is uh, it. We don't have any. Uh, enemies, so no encounter phase, no combat phase, we go to refresh phase, so we ready. And we add a threat here. We are thir at 35 now. Then uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start the phase by uh, the resource phase by getting resources, of course, and I'll immediately use them to play another horseback archer. This is just so that we don't have to have our heroes defending, and Legolas can stay up and uh, kill off enemies. Okay, uh, that is the planning phase done. Oh yeah, we didn't draw a card, so we'll draw a card. Uh, we get. Uh, Gondorian Spearman. Well, that is a good card for next round. We'll go to the questing phase, so Tallinn and uh, Gimli will quest again. And we'll get an encounter card. It is a uh, forest spider. Okay, so something for us to kill. That is good. And uh, uh, it adds two, so we are at zero. So Actually, this guy takes one damage from Tallinn because Tallinn is the quest. Well, that, that helps a bit, but not necessary. So, uh, that is the questing phase done. So, we draw a zero. Not that big of a deal, actually, but still, we would have wanted to uh, get rid of the old forest roads so we could travel to the next one. Uh, then, travel phase, we can't travel anywhere else. Encounter phase, uh, we will engage this enemy and I'll take it with a horseback archer. So, enemy attacks will deal a card. So, when revealed, deal one damage to each exhausted character. So, that that is annoying. So, this, this will take damage. Then, Legolas will defeat this enemy and will add three progress to the quest. So, looking much better than my previous try with this deck, but maybe it's because of the Blade of Gondolin, I don't know. It's just a good card for this strategy. But yeah, uh, we did the combat phase, we do the refresh phase, so everything ready is. Oh yeah, this, this guy is dead. Uh, it took enough damage to be defeated or destroyed. 
and uh, we'll add one doom to the doom tile and uh, then we in, uh, are ready with this turn so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we start the turn with resources again then we draw a card we get faints and uh, I think we go to the planning phase and play uh, the let's see, Gondoli Gondorian Spearman. So after Gondorian Spearman is declared as defender, deal one damage to the attacking enemy. Okay, so we'll have that guy be the defender, maybe. Mm, let's see. Well, uh, nothing else to do in the planning phase. We'll save that one resource. Maybe we'll want to play Blade Mastery or uh, the Quick Strike, but we'll see. So actually, uh, let's see. Okay. So we'll go to the uh, quest phase. So we'll uh, again go questing with Gimli and Tallinn. We are at uh, 3 against 1, we'll get an encounter card, and it is at 2, so I think we are done questing. Or, or well, we, we just try to stop uh, the quests from piling up too much. But that sucks, because we really want to see enemies to get that uh, a progress going on there. But it is what it is, and uh, we'll draw a 0, 3 against so nothing happens, no enemies, no, so we don't have an encounter phase and uh, we can't travel again and we don't have an encounter phase, no combat phase, so we'll just refresh so quick turns because there are no enemies to deal with so we'll add one threat uh, or doom here and that is that turn, let's go to the next turn we add resources Hoping to draw something useful. And we get Horn of Gondor. Attached to a hero, restricted. After a character is destroyed, add one resource to attach hero's pool. So I think I'm playing that. I'll add it to Gimli. So Gimli now has uh, two, res uh, two restricted cards. So we can't play any more restricted cards on Gimli. Uh, I think there is a mechanic that you can play a restricted card and discard a restricted card in play. So I, I think, well, just to go around that, I'll play it on uh, Alin. And we still have three resources, but I think we are good with this. So again, uh, we'll go from planning phase to quest phase. We'll a quest with Gimli and Tallinn again. So it uh, is 3 versus 3 and we are hoping to see an enemy actually this turn. But it is a forest gate so we are out of luck. So uh, we lose by 2, so 2 threat added and we are stuck. So again we can't travel, no encounter phase, no combat phase, we go to the press phase. So we really need to see an enemy soon or this game is done. And the, this is the uh, problem <laughs> with this deck, because it, when we are stuck with all of those locations, we just can't do squat. That is, that is the main problem of this uh, starter deck when it's played in true solo. But it is what it is, so we're ready, we add a threat here, so we are at 40, so 10 away from losing. But it is what it is, and that is that, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Again, we add resources, so I'm hoping to find something useful to play, like Gandalf or something, so we can get something done. And we are drawing Quick Strike, not helping us a bit. Uh, again, questing with uh, these two, so we are uh, down by two. No point in committing uh, even Legol as well. Uh, if we hit an enemy, then we won't progress. So, hoping to get an enemy. So, we'll go to the staging <laughs> and another location. 
This is so annoying. Well, it is the luck of the draw, basically. We can't look at the top of the encounter deck with by any means and remove those occasions. And we really seem to have all of the enemies at the bottom of the encounter deck, so that is bad. So, uh, this might be a quick game. So, we lose by four, so we add four Doom here, so we are six away from losing. Uh, no uh, uh, travel phase, no encounter phase, no combat phase. I, I've heard that before too many times this game, so we're ready. We'll add a threat, so five away from losing, so the next turn could be the last, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, this turn we really need to see Gandalf to have any chance to continue the game. We have plenty of resources, but nothing to play. We only have events in hand. It sucks because we don't have all of them are to deal with enemies, and we don't have any enemies. So that is game. Another Swiss swift strike. So yeah, I'm questing with everything to maybe buy us one more turn. And of course, we will see an enemy this round. So uh, well. It is what it is. And uh, we get an enemy, of course, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we tread out, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 against 4. It's 5, so that is game over. 50, doom, and we doom out. So that was <laughs> the tactics deck. So just to look what we would have seen uh, in a couple of turns, so uh, Treachery, another enemy, a location, another enemy, so some enemies would have started to come out and we could have uh, progressed with that, but let's see if we get, so another Dwarven Axe, another event, 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 and Bairn, and Bairn doesn't even do that much for uh, Questing. So let's see where Gandalf was. So at the near bottom and uh, near the meats. So Gandalf could have uh, helped us a lot, but it's really dumb that this starter hasn't got any uh, questing allies to speak of. Only only Gandalf and Beor. So it's really hard to do anything against all of those locations that are coming out. Because they just clog up the staging area and we can't progress the one, uh, maybe the easiest uh, location in play, even with the heroes we have. So, uh, a really, I, I think a bit of a miss uh, design on the starter deck, but it is what it is. Still, uh, in a two-handed two play, this could be really good, uh, combined with, for example, the spirit. Um, or leadership decks, so that those could combo off of each other. Uh, those other decks could uh, take care of the locations and add uh, progress to the quest, and this deck could just kill off every enemy in play. But it is a bit different with True Solo, but hope you guys still find this amusing and saw how this deck uh, plays. It is basically this, that you, you have a a lot of cards that deal with enemies and nothing more, but it is the kind of uh, sphere of influence the tactics is. So you kill enemies and defend. That's basically it, at least with the core set. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.